We just got in this 1995 Honda Acti all-wheel drive. Today we're going to look at installing our new shift pushing kit. Okay, this is a 95 Honda Acti all-wheel drive with 53,000 kilometers. So not a whole lot of wear, but I wanted to check how much slop is in the hand wheel to start. And it's right about half inch, maybe a little bit more. So we're gonna disassemble the shifter. We're gonna unscrew the shift knob and then undo three Phillips head screws. One located here, one located here, and then one on the driver's side over here. And then it just slides right off. This is normally what they look like when you take them apart, uh, sometimes even dirtier. Uh, so we're gonna clean it up and start to take it apart. Uh, we use a 12 millimeter socket for these bolts and if you need to a 14 millimeter open end wrench uh, for these now that we got this cleaned up i just wanted to go over the abbreviated kit which should be everything you need to get your shifter together in most cases is the ball cup bushing a sleeve bushing two different sizes of washers and thickness that we use as shims we'll start with this piece you need to undo the cotter pin I've already undone it pull it out and slide this shifter off save this piece which is on pretty much every truck I've ever seen this piece is still intact the sleeves inside here are often missing or uh, not intact we're gonna replace this even though it has it uh, just to tighten things up this is how the old bushy came out so after 25 years it still makes sense to uh, replace it uh, the new bushing is in it's going to be a very tight fit uh, just try to make sure it goes in straight place it on a little grease and all your movable parts Then the piece that should already be on there as a shim. And then cotter pin back through. The next step is gonna be this ball cup bushing and the shim. So we'll use a 12 millimeter socket to remove this. And then you just pop this off. Just to show where these wear, there's the old one and the new one. You can see it slopes down. And that's why it's getting loose, is that wear right there. And we'll apply a little grease and put the new one on. So the cup is greased up. I put a little grease in uh, the jaws right there. And this is the part where the shims come into play. You can see there's one thinner, one thicker. You kind of play it by ear, um, but they slide right on the shaft. And that's just to, so you can tighten it up a little bit more. Slide everything back together.
And with that shim in there, you can't over tighten it. So you have to tighten it up and then feel it out. So that's too tight. Loosen up a little bit. And that feels good right there. So that's what that shim does. It allows you to tighten it all the way and take out the slack. But if you tighten it too much, you won't be able to move it. The last place you're gonna to wanna to put a shim is on the back side of here. And this is, you can see, a lot of play. So another 12 millimeter. have two different size shims so you can kind of play it out by how much wear yours has it slides right on all the way to the back Same thing with this one, you can you can over tighten it. So you gotta feel out what's best for your setup. It's movable, but it feels a little tight. See that it's already tightened up across the board quite a bit. So after the abbreviated kit, we'll just do a little test. Say maybe an eighth of an inch movement from that, so much improved and I've seen much worse to start. For the full kit, here's the bushing that you'll need. And this piece goes in six places. Goes on this side, this side, both sides of this, and then on each of these bolts. So for this first one, we had the full kit instead of the abbreviated. Take the nut and the washer off. slide this off and you want to take off both. I've already taken off the one on the back. Might have to fit a little flathead screwdriver in there, work it back and forth. Pretty tight on there. And the new ones are going to be even tighter since they're brand new. A little grease might help. Just again, try to get it to go straight in. And don't cock it when you go in. Brand new bushings, you sh technically shouldn't be able to over tighten it. We can see that's a little, a little tight even with the brand new bushings. So, loosen that up. That looks good. Next. Moving on to the actual shifter piece. Take off the 12 millimeter nut and the washer. The two bushings are on either side. I'm gonna need to replace those. I'm gonna set that off to the side for a second. A 14 millimeter wrench.
bushings for this piece are on either side. So you pop those out and replace. So you grease everything, put them back together. The final part we're gonna try to replace is down here. There's a cotter pin that goes in that hole. Uh, if you break it like I did, don't worry, the kit comes with new cotter pins. So you pull off that spacer, set that aside, and then you can pull out the entire shifter. That'll make that placing those bushings easier. And then we're gonna replace this ball. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is remove this little ball bushing. This one doesn't look bad, but we're gonna replace it anyways. If you get the full kit, instead of a spherical bearing, you'll get a second sleeve. It'll just press right in and put back together. Okay, all the bushings have been replaced. Put it all back together. When putting it back together, I noticed a little gap on the other side of this bolt. We'll have to put a little washer in there provided in the kit. It'll be the bigger of the two washers, uh, one on each side. Your truck may or may not have them depending on if they've worn away over time.